when comparing interest, define the variables first. Then make an equation for the investment. Then make an equation for the interest. And remember, when using a percent, we must convert to a decimal. Let's look at example one. In example one, Sophia invests $1,900 in an account and 1500 in an another account that paid 3% higher interest. After one year, she had earned $113 in interest. At what rate did she invest? If A represents interest on the first value or the first amount invested and B represents the interest on the second amount which was 1500 we can write A plus the percentage higher to equal B because A represents the interest we can write B in terms of A at this point we know that there was a certain amount times a certain rate, A, plus a certain amount invested at a certain rate, B. And we know that all together, Sophia made $113 in interest. If we know that B is actually the same as A plus 3%, we can substitute B with A plus 0 0.03. This gives us 1900 times A plus 1500 times A plus 0 0.03 equal to 113. distributing through we get 1500A plus 45 is equal to 113. Now adding like terms we get 3400A plus 45 is equal to 113. Subtracting 45 from both sides, gives us 3400A equals 68. Dividing by 3400 on both sides, gives us A is equal to 0 0.02 or 2 percent. If that's the case, B is equal to A plus 0 0.03 or 3 percent, which means that B is equal to 2 percent plus 3 percent or 5 percent.
In example two, Carlos invests 2,500 in one account and 1,000 in another, which paid 4% lower interest. At the end of a year, he had earned $345 in interest. At what rates did he invest? Again, we'll call A and B the two different interests. If he invests a certain amount at an interest rate and we'll call A the value of the investment of 2,500 and B will be the interest rate of the $1,000. Next, we know that A is a higher interest rate than B, and so if we subtract 4% or 0 .04 from A, we get B or the interest rate for the lower paying account. Now that we know that, we can write an equation stating the interest earned. We know that B is equal to A minus 4%, so I'll substitute that in for B. Distributing through, we get 1000A minus 40. Adding 40 to both sides, we get, adding like terms, we get 3,500A is equal to 385. Dividing by 3,500, on both sides A is equal to 0.11 or 11%. If B is equal to A minus 0 0.01, that's equivalent to 0 0.11 minus 0 0.01, which is equal to 0.11. Sorry, A minus 0 0.04, because it's 4%, which gives me 0 0.07. So the interest rate on the first amount is 11%, and the interest rate on the second percent, or the second amount, is 7%.